Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, in today's tutorial, guys, I'll show you to run um, Android apps on your Samsung TV. Now, of course, this is for is a Samsung TV. This applies to any Samsung TV that you might have. As you can see here, guys, this is the remote um, of this Samsung TV. I'm just going to show you that this is entirely um, Samsung and explain how you can run Android apps and why it is that natively you cannot run these apps. Now, at one point, um, Samsung would once be running an Android-based operating system, but of course, this is Tizen, and of course, it's Samsung's very own operating system. And if you are new to this app, you might be looking for some of your popular apps that are found on Android, as they were once on um, Samsung TV or in the App Store. Now, if you go in the App Store, it's very limited, and these are most of the apps that you'll find. You'll find the ones like Netflix, YouTube, and so on. But of course, a lot of um, stuff you'll be unable to find, and that's because stuff is being added to this. It's not actually Android, it's Tizen. And Tizen is, as I said, Samsung's operating system. Now, I'll show you how to in this tutorial to run your Android apps on your um, Samsung TV. All right, so let's get straight into it. All right, so we're going to go back to the home screen. And as I've just pointed out, there's no Android apps natively, this is a totally different OS. Now, in order to run Android apps, here's what you'll need. All right, so if you check it out, guys, this is what you'll need. I'll put it in the description. And of course, this is a dongle that will attach to your TV. It will come with a separate remote. And of course, it will come with this dongle and its own adapter. Okay, it needs to be powered. Now, in order to run your Android apps, you'll need this or something similar that allows for um, the side loading of another operating system. This is Amazon's operating system. This is a Fire Stick. And of course, the Fire Stick does have Android apps built in. So as you can see, the interface of um, Tizen here, I'm gonna attach this to the TV, and this is the only official way, as you can't actually load um, apps or APKs onto um, your Samsung TV. You'll have to use one of these. It is um, very affordable, and you can just add it to your TV and it will be very simple. It will as if you're using this, your same TV, except you're using a, um, a secondary interface and it allows you to run those Android apps. All right, guys, so we have the um, Fire Stick connected to the TV. And it's connected to a Spear HDMI port. And of course, it's plugged into the wall. Um, it's a little bit dark. Hope you can see that. So it's connected now. All right, so what we're going to do is after it boots up, we're gonna get your um, original Samsung remo remote. So you can see that we're actually on the Samsung TV. And I'm gonna hit source. And once I hit source, guys, it's going to show me that I'm on the TV. We're gonna move over to the HDMI port. So I'm gonna move over. And then I'm gonna select. And of course, there you go. So now we have switched over, guys, to... All right, sorry about that. I had to switch those out because um, there was an ad play and didn't expect that. And of course, now we're actually on the, um, the new interface. Now, as you can see here, you will have the same applications. So I'm now on a different source. I can put away the Samsung remote. And here I have the um, Fire... What do you call this now? The Fire Stick um, here. And of course, I can navigate just to show you. And there you go. So check it out, guys. Now you have YouTube, you have Prime Video, you have Netflix, you have an App Store. And of course, all of these are here. You see the regular apps. You see we have Spotify, HBO, and all sorts of stuff. And of course, now you have all of the popular apps that you would normally have. And of course, there's a lot of movies. And we have cool games such as Fruit Ninjas. And these are some free applications. And of course, there's a robust um, set of um, apps. And you can see all of them here. And of course, the content on this is um, way more robust and more intense. As you see, that's just the intro here. And of course, I'll show you the um, App Store, which is basically Android that um, runs through here, so as you can see here, ah, here we go. So we're gonna go to the App Store. And there you go. So check it out guys, all your Android apps are here. And um, those are true um, Amazon. So as you can see, we have NFL, 
check it out these are just a few disney hbo we have regular internet and of course we have most of the apps that you would expect on a system like this all right and here i go i did a quick search just for like for example this media player app called vlc and you can see that's an android based application and of course you can find other platforms as well and there you go it's vlc is right there as being one of those apps so you can search through all your apps and you see there are several other similar apps that does very similar things so as always guys you can always come in here and do the search the search bar you have the app library if you want the featured ones the games and of course all the cool little games are there notice the whole collection and we have other categories so there's a whole lot of games all right i think i've um, made the point clear so for those who are on um, the samsung tv you can easily add one of these fire sticks i have it in the description you can click on the link it will take you over to amazon you can get one of these to purchase and of course as i said it's very um, affordable and of course it will add a lot of functionality to your tv and if i wanted to we can easily switch back to the default operating system that's on the tv but the fire stick adds a lot of functionality and gives you a lot of features and is the best way to basically load or side load android apps all right so i do hope this was helpful for those who are seeking out android apps on your samsung tv so do be sure that once you are um, looking for apps it will not load on the default operating system you'll have to get as i just showed um, your tv um, installed with a third-party application as i was showing you here that's from the home screen and that third-party application will allow you guys to be able to load your app so as you see again we are back it didn't affect anything and the default operating system is here all right so in this tutorial here do hope this was helpful as always ricardo for cardinal from black tech tips saying bye until next time bye